Welcome back, viewers. Today, we embark on an extraordinary journey through the ancient scrolls of wisdom, diving deep into the profound vision of one of history's most enigmatic prophets, Isaiah. In a world filled with uncertainty and turmoil, Isaiah's vision provides a beacon of hope and enlightenment. Join me as we unravel the layers of his prophetic words, exploring their relevance and significance in our modern age. Get ready to be inspired, challenged, and transformed as we delve into the vision of Isaiah. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating videos that will enrich your mind and soul. Let's embark on this journey together. Isaiah's vision, as recorded in the sixth chapter of the book of Isaiah, is one of the most profound and influential theophanies in the Hebrew Bible. It is a narrative that has captivated theologians, scholars, and believers for centuries, offering a glimpse into the divine and the role of a prophet in ancient Israel. The vision occurs in the year that King Uzziah died, a time of political and social upheaval for the kingdom of Judah. Isaiah finds himself in the temple in Jerusalem, the epicenter of Israelite worship, where he is about to have an encounter that will forever change the course of his life. Isaiah sees the Lord seated on a high and exalted throne, the hem of his robe filling the temple. Above him stand seraphim, celestial beings with six wings, who proclaim the holiness of God, declaring, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts, the whole earth is full of his glory. The foundations of the threshold shake at the voice of the seraphim, and the temple is filled with smoke, signifying the presence of the Almighty. Confronted with the holiness of God, Isaiah is acutely aware of his own unworthiness. He laments, Woe is me! For I am lost, for I am a man of unclean lips. His confession reflects a common theme in theophanic experiences, a deep sense of personal and communal sinfulness in the presence of divine purity. Purification and commissioning in response to Isaiah's confession, one of the seraphim touches Isaiah's lips with a burning coal from the altar, symbolizing the purification of his sins. Following this act of grace, Isaiah hears the voice of the Lord asking, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Isaiah, now cleansed and emboldened, responds, Here I am. Send me. Thank you for watching today's episode. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more videos.